Chad was the founder of the Christian faith in Mercia, the West Midlands, in the seventh century. And now, really, St Chad's Cathedral, Birmingham is the main Catholic cathedral, Lichfield, a sort of mother Anglican cathedral of the West Midlands. Therefore, it seems sensible to call the pilgrimage after Chad. Chad was the first Bishop of Lichfield, and Chad's name is throughout the history and the geography of this area because he walked all around this area as uh, we've been walking today. He walked uh, around the Kingdom of Mercia telling people the good news of God's love for everybody in Jesus Christ. I think the fact that we're walking, he probably recognise what he sees, you know, a group of people walking along and that would have been the usual form of transport um, at the time. So there'd be much that is recognisable and of course the, uh, the infrastructure around us of transport and the buildings and so on, they tell the story of uh, the development of the Midlands uh, in the years following. I think the first thing that hit you was to see the beautiful cathedral, St Chad's, imposing arches, and then you walked underneath the uh, Spaghetti Junction and saw exactly the same, but totally different. The whole mission of God is about movement, uh, God active in his world, God active in drawing people to himself through Jesus Christ. And one of the uh, patterns of Jesus' own ministry was outside and on the move. One of the most famous stories of St Chad tells about how the Archbishop of Canterbury, no less, uh, tried to persuade him to get on a horse, to get drive, ride around his diocese more quickly and reach more places. And Chad refused. He insisted on walking um, because he said, in walking I can meet more people and understand the place I'm in better. And that's still people's experience today. I think pilgrimage is a very contemporary experience because walking from place to place gives you a sense of where you are. Pilgrimage is a growing phenomenon of the 21st century and people are walking old and new pilgrimage routes all over the place in this country and in continental Europe. The idea of pilgrimage is a very ancient one, almost something that's being revived and which Protestant, Catholic, Orthodox people can all enter into and share into. So pilgrimage is a great way, literally walking together in the name of Christ. I think another thing is looking beyond our little pilgrimage group to the, the neighbourhoods that we've been walking through. It's been really fascinating. We've stopped and considered lonely people in housing estates. Um, we've obviously been by schools, so we've, we've been prayer walking basically the area. We started with a service, a short service of prayer and devotion um, in front of the relics of St Chad in St Chad's Roman Catholic Cathedral in Birmingham. We will end in the Church of England Cathedral of St Chad in Lichfield and actually walking with us on the way has been a Catholic priest carrying a small um, bag with the relics of St Chad. So we really not only have been walking in the footsteps of St Chad but accompanied by St Chad and that feels great. It's been a really nice balance between walking by the side of canals, in forests and uh, a little bit on the roadside but not a lot. Well, it's going well. I mean, sadly, I've lost an archbishop and two bishops en route, but apart from that, we've been doing reasonably well. I think everyone's arrived or arriving here at Little Aston, which is a good 11 miles we've done of the 18 so far. People seem in good spirits. The ability to stop off at various points at the various churches that have agreed to host us with cups of tea and the, the bathroom facilities as well, it's been really it's very welcomed. Helpful. Very welcomed. <laughs> The weather's been generally OK and it's brightening up as we speak, so all in all, great. It's been a pleasant walk. I didn't know there was so much green through Birmingham. The reason for calling it St Chad Pilgrimage is that nearly through nearly all his life he was what we today call Celtic, what in reality was Orthodox, Eastern Christian. Chad was um, ordained, uh, recognised by Rome eventually, and so when he came that he was a kind of uniting um, influence on the uh, on the Christian church in what was then West Mercia. We wanted to mark this year the 500th anniversary of the Reformation, um, an extraordinary series of events that brought great blessing to Christian life in Europe but also division. For 500 years there's been a huge elephant in the room between Protestant and Catholic. After the Protestant Reformation, then of course uh, there came the Council of Trent and there was Catholic Reformation and the church is always being reformed. Thankfully, 500 years on, we're in a different place 
and there's now a whole lot of respect, friendship and inter-sharing. Inter Pilgrimage is, if you like, a kind of physical expression of the Christian journey. When we arrive at Litchfield, yeah. we've reached a destination and there is quite a kind of release almost when you reach the end of a physical journey in possibly the same way yeah. that there will be at the end of our yeah. Christian life. I've really enjoyed being part of it. I've enjoyed meeting lots of different people that I'd never met before and having good conversations along the way. Some just very silly and informal and some much deeper, uh, which has been something that's made possible, I think, when you're doing something together. Uh, you talk to each other in a way that if you're just sat round, it's quite hard to get find a way in. Uh, whereas because of the walking and the movement and the motion, it creates a space to have good conversation and that's been really special. Thank you.